Hi guys, this is Mayank Pal from Gossip Funda and in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the Samsung A7 tablet and remove the Nox file from your app. So as we know, we need to take the backup of the reset of the iPhone. You can download the tools app from the link in the description and you will need to connect the phone with the PC to USB cable. Once you've connected the USB cable, you will connect your PC and phone with the same Wi-Fi network. These three steps are the most important steps. Then you will need to open the Google Chrome. Once you use the eFRP app, then you will show it in the USB Chrome. As you already know, you will use the FRP app to open the Google Chrome on your tablet. Next, let's see how we can make the shortcut app. So let's quickly get over how you can use the shortcuts app and how you can make the easy firmware way. Click on the bypass and the firmware will be activated. You see this is a liability where the focus of the YouTube app will open the Google Chrome on your tablet. Accept and continue. Add account. Click on no thanks. You will see on the search bar will be active and you will enter the Google Chrome. Inside the Google Chrome no need to enter your ID. Just go to the settings, I'm sorry, go to the search bar and open the and search for VN, search for VN ROM and in there go to the downside, uh, open the first website and scroll down until you find the quick shortcut maker APK. Install this APK, click OK. Open the APK. It will ask you for permissions. Give it the permissions so for unknown sources to install. Install the shortcut, quick shortcut maker on your tablet. Open the app. Click OK. In the search bar, search for Android Studio. You will see the Android setup will appear. Click on the Android setup and expand it. You will see all the options in that. Scroll down. Scroll down until you find the uh, Android setup. There are multiple Android setups for you to choose from. Select the one with the probability. Click on try. And then your app will prepare downloading. With this, all your VM will be connected. Wait for it to begin. You see? The now, now all your app and applications has been removed and the Nox has been Nox has been disabled temporarily. You will see a network error will issue because we had previously disconnected our network. Now go to the about tablet section in the software section. And the build number click seven to eight times until you've activated the developer mode. You can see the developer mode is activated. Now go to the developer options. In the developer options, scroll down until you find the wireless debugging app. You see the USB debugging will be uh, not be enabled. So we will enable the wireless debugging app. To allow this, make sure that the Wi-Fi is connected without the internet. If the internet is connected, then it would uh, show error and you will have to start all of this again. Make sure you've connected it with a mo mobile hotspot or anything else with no internet. Your, uh, your PC and your device must be connected to the same internet. You will see that uh, your pairing code will be addressed. You, you can see the, uh, there's different code. You can see the device name and the pair with device code. This is the pairing code. This is a dynamic code. So make sure that it does not change in the platform tools. Go to the platform section and right click.
right click on it and open the powershell window with this the open powershell window so you will see a powershell window to appear it is a blue screen window with some of the options are enabled on it go ahead and open the document with the commands in it you will need to enter the commands for further more process you can see the command file is given in the tools app you can see the tools app in the description select the first command copy it make sure in the place of ip address you enter the ip address of your tablet for example go to the settings app in the developer options go to the wireless debugging and pair with the enter the ip address that you need to port with the device for example there are two different ip addresses this is for pairing and this is for connecting make sure you enter the pairing and connecting differently and control c the api open the device you cannot paste it here like i tried but it does not happen so you will have to enter it physically enter the code you can see i have entered the code i have entered all the ip address you can see it is the same ip address as the pair my device i will hit enter and you will see it is asking for the pairing code we will enter this pairing code because this is the pairing code that has been given i am going to enter the pairing code you can see it is the same as earlier then i'm going to add the next one next one in the section and i will enter the ip address again you will see it will ask pairing code again enter the right pairing code enter the right pairing code that it is asking you can see i am uh, entering the pairing code hit enter okay so some reason it is not showing properly i'm going to try again okay now the pairing code is activated and you can see the pairing code is now published this is successfully paired to the device for some reason it was not happening earlier in the dot adb connect file we will enter the above one remember that was for pairing and this is for now connecting so we will enter the address code let's enter the address code ip 192.168 make sure you enter the right ip you see it is showing successfully connected now click the next code that is the adb shell you will see a dollar sign will appear when the dollar sign appears that means it is connected and is now reflecting anything that you put it on the code let's open the code open the command file in the command file you can see that there are two options one for disable and one for uninstalling we will recommend you that you disable because uninstalling will make it problematic make sure you enter the disable code you cannot copy this code so we, uh, you will have to physically enter it so let's go ahead and enter the code you see i have entered the code prob very easily and the the nox file has now been removed from the iphone once once i click enter it will be removed from the iphone see i'm clicking enter and now it has been removed you see the enterprise has been now been disabled the disabled user state is now active exit the panel and the power shawl will be off exit it again make sure it is done 
Now you will successfully be able to use this. All your Knox features are removed. Such of the USB debugging and you can see it is successfully removed. Now you can connect the internet and you can also check it. See the Knox file is not working. I hope you like this. This video. was the video. Like, share and subscribe to the Gossip Funder channel. Thank you.